Hi, everyone. Good morning. <clears throat> Good to see everybody on this rainy Saturday morning for yet another Senior Saint moment. This is Randy yes. and Laurie joining me today. And <clears throat> last week I had Bailey with me. I don't have Bailey today, but I have this doggie who is the best pet ever. <laughs> it's the best kind of pet. Yes, yes. Does not eat. Doesn't bark. Yes, nice. Yes. So as we wait for some who might be interested to uh, see what's going on with this version of uh, live, mm -hmm. I have a question for you. Um, have you ever been out of step with something? Yes. Like what? Well, I used to march in the band in high school. Um, we were a military band, and um, if we got out of set, out of step, it just um, messed the whole routine up. Really? Yes. Hmm. And you, it was clear who was out of step. Absolutely. I yep. <laughs> Good morning, Jenny. We see you're joining us today, so hopefully you're staying warm and dry out of step. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're going to talk about today, being out of step, and perhaps in a different way. Uh, I don't know how you set this. What? Discussion. What are you doing? There you go. Okay. Forgive me, folks. I'm, tr I'm trying to figure this live thing out. Yes. <clears throat> So today, being out of step, and there's all kind of ways we can be out of step because there's one thing that I'm certain of, and you too, if, if not already, is that there's change all about us and around us, and it's a constant, and really um, our, uh, sometimes our uh, concerns or even fears with change are not about the change itself as much as it's about the transitions that accompany the change. Mm -hmm. So today let's talk about some scripture that will give us comfort, perhaps in times of uh, dis-ease or comfort. So if you would, let's read Psalm 56 uh, and let's just read one through four. But before we do that, I'd like to pray. Okay. And invite God into our conversation. So let's pray. Holy God, we come to you today thanking you for those who are joining us and those who will join us at some point in time later. We're grateful for the nice rain that we're receiving that also comes with storms and wind. Father, we pray that your Holy Spirit will come into this conversation today and reveal truth to us as we can handle it. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. So today, hello, Susan. Good to see you joining us as well. So today, uh, if you would read Psalm 56, 1 through 4. And this is out of the message. Yes. Translation. Take my side, God. I'm getting kicked around, stomped on every day. Not a day goes by, but somebody beats me up. They make it their duty to beat me up. When I get really afraid, I come to you and trust. I'm proud to praise God. Fearless now, I trust in God. What can mere mortals do? So in our fear, we trust God. Mm -hmm. And that, that's really saying, what can man do to me, right? Right. So let's keep that in mind as we talk about today, yet another uh, of our prayer days from Aging Faithfully by Missy Buchanan. This is a great little prayer book and it has some timely topics that I've found. Uh, and so today let's talk about being out of step and being fearful and trusting in God and not being concerned about <clears throat> what mere mortals can do. <clears throat> so here are these words from this uh, topic of being out of step. And visualize yourself, perhaps, as I read this. A woman pulls her chair up close to a computer and peers into the screen. She sees the image of her grandson. 
and he's an officer in the military. And he's talking to her as though he is sitting across her dining room table instead of in a war zone halfway across the world. Tears suddenly well up. So this is clearly a new thing for this grandmother. Yes. In another city, a grandfather watches restless grandchildren push buttons on their slim, palm-sized electronic gadgets. <laughs> One child listens to music on a tiny device with thousands of songs at his fingertips. Two send silent messages to their friends in other towns. While the youngest searches a handheld apparatus for showtimes at a movie theater, the older man shrugs his shoulders in bewilderment. I have to confess I've done that yes. with our grandsons, yeah. Cade and Cole, as they uh, taught me things on uh, electronic gadgets that I did not. Yeah. So thank you, Cade and Cole. <laughs> It's not surprising that these grandparents, both of them, feel the sharp pangs of insecurity. Why do you think they'd they'd feel insecure at, at this? Because it's something new. They just don't understand it. Yeah. So they used to feel smart and savvy, but not <laughs> anymore. <laughs> not with all this fast changing technology. As much as they marvel at the wonder of it all, they fear becoming hopelessly out of step with the rest of the world. Can you describe a recent time when you may have felt out of step with the world? I know you talked about being out of step in the band, but out of step with the world. Can you think of a time when you felt that way? And, and if so, how did you react? Oh, I can't think of a time, but I'm sure you can. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, with all this uh, pandemic and stay home and virtual meeting stuff, yes, uh, in fact. Uh, you know, the, the thing called Zoom was new to me, and uh, very often with new things, you tend to um, deny them or even get angry about them. Uh, and try to bargain, perhaps, about it. And this guy right here said he would never do a live on Facebook. Is this live? This is live, baby. <laughs> <laughs> never say never. <laughs> so at some point you accept change, just like these grandparents hopefully would accept change. And so... You know, when we talk about this change and being out of step with the rest of the world, maybe you feel the same way today. No one feels um, any worse than anybody else when they feel incompetent. And I think of Moses with his stuttering and he tried mm -hmm. to talk God out of his call to go, uh, you know, free the, the his people from the Egyptians and than even Abraham, who thought uh, he was too old to carry out God's purposes. So God chose these men anyway, and he equipped them for the task that they that they felt they could not do. Right. So don't be afraid to learn new skills, is what we're trying to say today, and acquire new information. Hello, Rhonda. It's good to see you joining us today. We should trust God and embrace these new opportunities with a willing heart. And so in this vein, I would like to say that you, you might suggest uh, finding a piece of technology or something that intimidates you or something you, you've been afraid to learn and ask a friend or a family member to help teach you more about it. And I know with Zoom, <laughs> and <clears throat> it took a day or two. I think we missed a meeting or two with the men's prayer breakfast. But then my good friend Robert uh, Muckleroy, he he uh, wanted to make sure he could be included in these meetings. So I sent Robert a an invitation on Zoom. Mm -hmm. 
and and made sure he got it and then i called him on the phone and we walked through that zoom connection until he could figure it out now he hasn't missed a meeting with us and so right. uh, you know there's a way to do it and talk through it and so you know the thing is just don't be afraid to try these things and get help right and so you know being out of step if we don't if we don't figure out how to do some of this stuff then we're truly missing out on a lot of good things That's especially true. discipleship mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> here that we're trying to do at acton <clears throat> and we always remember that uh, you know it helps us to remember these priceless qualities of christ mm -hmm. um, like his you know the love and faith and integrity and humility and compassion that we can have for others as well and so I would like, uh, I guess, for us to end this by praying and keep in mind that we here at Acton United Methodist, we, we, uh, if you haven't seen Pastor Wade's most recent video about 100 homes, this is a great thing that we can do, whether we meet in person or via Zoom, we can start small group discussions and do it in a virtual way through zoom and still be connected yet separate and so if you haven't seen actonmethodist.com slash 100 homes i'd recommend you go there right. and review that and see what that's about well and it's a good way like for people to meet different people and get to know that you know people that you usually wouldn't talk to in church or you might not get a chance to see them mm -hmm. So it's a good way to do that. It's all true. Very true. So let's go to the Father in prayer and uh, pray that uh, he might show you the, someone who could come alongside you or some way that you might be connected that you haven't been before. And don't be scared. Right. Remember, don't be intimidated. <laughs> don't be intimidated. And the yes. psalm said, what can mere mortals do to me? And uh, I'm not fearful, but I trust in the Father. And so let's let's go to the Father in prayer. Holy God, we sometimes we feel like we're an old timer stuck in the bygone era. Uh, we confess that we're afraid of change and of letting go of what used to be. We confess that we are fearful of new beginnings, and we're fearful of the wilderness time that's in between those to realities of life, which is always constant. So Father, we pray that you would be with us today. Grant us courage to trust you and to keep leaning forward into life, knowing that you are right by our side. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. And so before we leave today, I want to remind you that our services tomorrow online again actingmethodist.com slash live at 9 and 10 30 so we hope you join us then and we truly expect and always pray that you will encounter god in some unique and special way and i would hope that you'd be looking forward to that encounter as we are for you and so one final thing last week i talked about a life verse which one of those that really are, are dear to me is uh, Romans 12, 1 and 2, which is do not be conformed to the ways of the world, but be transformed by renewing of your mind. Yeah. And another life verse with this rain brings it to mind. Uh, Laurie, I wonder if you might read John chapter, John chapter 21, verse 3. Verse 3. 3. Mm -hmm. Simon Peter told them, I'm going fishing. Oh, yes. So next time you hear me come in and say, Laura, I'm going fishing. Then please know that is biblical. Uh, got it. <laughs> and as his disciple friends said to him, he's, they said, we're going with you. You're welcome to go with me. Awesome. Let's go. So let's, we'll sign off today. We uh, so glad that y'all could join us, Jenny and Susan and Rhonda.
and for all the others that are, will see this later on, we pray that God blesses you and speaks to you in some unique and special way. Okay? So have a great rest of the Saturday and may you be fruitful for the Lord. Bye, y'all. Bye.